Okay, I'm an ex SX Weirdo by Mark Anthony Williams. Chapter One. So you may be thinking, why is this person decided to write his life in a book? Or is it going to be in the form of a diary? Well, I have small vessel disease of the brain which affects my cognitive skills like memory. Born on a Sunday, 13th of May, 1962, to my parents, Tony and Barbara Rains, of Rochford Hospital in Essex. At the time they lived in a masonette, they moved to Mendic Crescent. This is where I stayed for most of my first 30 years of life. Only vague memories of my childhood I have to credit my mother, Barbara Ann Rains, who helped fill in the gaps. I like to play in my milk float when little in the back garden. I tend to score a lady of lords and to drive a so shy to stent. I was asked to play the role of Mark Anthony for club play. I refused to kiss the girl. I ran out of the school. I remember all the girls wearing white plimsolls, Mark Bone on the T Rex in black ink. And the time I had a rice crispy cake for pudding, the bit into it cracked, chipped my tooth. Now I come to an event that affected my life more than I thought. I had no time to reflect on it. No, I had time to reflect on it. Along with a girl whose name I do not remember. Look, I was called into the headmistress's office. We found we had been kept, been kept back. Here for reasons I also forgot. I made cut the chase it meant. Always playing catch up. Miranda worked as a caretaker in my private school. We could visit our grandparents. We would visit our grandparents semi regular basis. One trip on the way home. I turned to wave goodbye and then walked head first in the lamppost. I had, I had a tennis ball like lump, which really hurt. Leading on in life, uh, the hardest thing, one of the hardest things I had to do was attend my dad and then years later, my mother's funeral. <coughs> my dad's funeral brings back a few bad memories. This one had a major fallout with my oldest sister. I walked out the car before this journey at South End on Sea Crematorium. They shouted about me in a funeral car. I made, had a made to carry it. I carried back in the service at the wake. It felt like a pe- like shit. If my niece hadn't been there, I would have left. My mother's funeral was determined to say some words about how much I missed her as I bottled out at my dad's. Thing I did not, did not. Like with my sister's boyfriend keeping on about me not going too far during my illness. <coughs> These constant going on about gold radio. 